Hello everyone, welcome back to Pedro Place, I'm Pedro and we're back in Subnautica. So, um, last uh, episode we uh, were exploring a sunken ship that, uh, uh, that we found some wreckages from the uh, Aurora most likely. Um, we found some cool stuff in there, now we have a new message. And uh, let's see, okay, we're, we're done food and water, everything fine. Do I have extra batteries? I don't. Okay, what do I need to build a radio? I'd like to place a radio and a fabricator in, in my base. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, where are they? Radio. Titanium and copper. Titanium, gold and table coral sample. I can actually build both of these down there. Okay, so I'm I'm going to need... Um, let's spin this and this. So we will need two titanium, one copper, And we will need a table cobble sample and gold. Not sure if I have anything here. Nope. Lots of titanium. Do we have any gold in there? Where's the base? Oh, there it is. Let me see if I have some gold uh, in there. If I do... Okay, let me get the... Uh, uh, Table coral samples. There should be somewhere around here somewhere. Yep. Here they are. So we have the table coral sample. Let, let me see if I have any gold in there. Welcome aboard, Captain. I already have the radio here. Let me see if I can build a fabricator. Yes. What do I need? Gold. Do I have any gold? Cool. So, I've got both of these now. So that's cool. Let's listen to that message night time already. Okay, so let's listen to that message, see what we get. Submersible support. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so a message from another life pod. Uh, life pod 3, we've already done that. Life pod 17, we've been there already. We need. I'm going to change this to red. So these are the ones we've already done. And life pod 12. Okay, people know. I wonder if I uh, should go there at night. I don't like that idea. Not at all. Um, so let me see. We've got one depleted battery over here. Do we have any uh, any more batteries there? Not sure. Let me check. If we do, I don't think so. Nope. No spare batteries. Okay, let me cook this pepper that I have with me. 
Okay, perfect. Okay, let me see if we can make uh, at least one more battery. I think we can. I think we have copper somewhere. Okay, let's make one extra battery. Here, okay. Do I have any more copper around here in these lockers? Not here. Not here. This is pitch black. Nope, no copper. No copper. Any copper in the base? And we have another message. So life pod is over there. 250 meters, that's deep. battery that's fine okay well now let's see uh, we have a new another uh, radio message let me just check something here okay we can we have life pod 12 okay let's listen to this message see what information we get this is sunbeam you know aurora we're from a little transgov on the far side of andromeda and we have a saying there there's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Yes, so Sunbeam will try to uh, rescue us from this godforsaken planet. Okay, so um, people, let's try to uh, to get to uh, to that life pod. It would be life pod twelve. I have a signal for it. There it is, and that is far away as hell. Okay, I'm going to switch off the uh, the lights. This is pitch black with this uh, uh, with this uh, filmic color grading. can't see anything. Okay, people, let's uh, uh, get to it. Meanwhile, I will, as usual, okay, let me just get this over here so I can access it easily if needed. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Keep an eye on the, uh, on the ocean floor. No idea where we're heading. We're uh, into that uh, mushroom forest where we have been previously. Let me get to the uh, to the surface. Get some oxygen. Apparently, daylight is coming back, which is always good. That life pod is far away from us, so let's try to get there. Okay. Some strange lights over there, no idea what that was. Okay, so reef over here. 
we scan this already? Let's scan this. They are harmless. Huge, but harmless. So, pitch black. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. And here it is. Thirty seconds. Let me get to the, uh, to the surface Several quite quickly. Okay. Please, please make it. Please make it. Please make it. I won't make it. Oh, come on. 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 Damn it. <sighs> this is what I call a stupid death. Really was stupid. Hello. So we're back in the base. Only advantage is it's daytime now. Okay, let's uh, let's get there again and let's make sure we don't make the same mistake again. We haven't lost anything, uh, by the way. We didn't have uh, uh, anything on us, so everything is here nonetheless. But this was indeed a stupid death. This is the type of death a player that has played this game several times before should not have ever. So, yeah, it was stupid. Because that's deep. We had the warning that it was deep and uh, not to try to reach it without um, the right equipment. Thing is, I got distracted there. away from us. Nonetheless, it was uh, uh, quite easy to find this uh, uh, this life pod. Passing 100 meters. Yeah, yeah. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Now, we found it again. Because I think the, uh, the capacity of the, uh, of the air bladder it's not enough to re to get us to the uh, to the surface. So, but let's go up, get some oxygen, and then let's dive uh, straight back down and see what we have there. Okay, here we go. Non-stop, all the way down. Uh, 
Right, let's go straight for the uh, for the life pod itself. We have a data box here. Then we got ocean cannon. Okay, that's cool. Another PDA. Integrating PDA data. Got anything else to scan around here? Doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't. So. Let's go straight up. We have one of these guys here. Let's go past him. Yes. Okay, well, let's uh, uh, go back down again. I don't think there's anything that uh, that we can scan here, but let's have another look. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Okay, new radio message. Where's our life pod? Okay, over there. So we will need to go this way. Let's keep an eye on the uh, on the oxygen. I don't want to die again here. Okay, let's go back down. We are going back to our uh, to our uh, life pod now. Okay. Okay. So while we are uh, swimming around here, I would also like to check. These guys are big. I had almost forgotten how big they were when I first played the game. That sound doesn't that doesn't sound too friendly. Okay, catch some lead. Pay attention to the oxygen. What's this? Salt deposit. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Let's not risk it. Let's go up. Okay. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. What have we got here? Alien vent. Cyclops hull fragment. Great. By the way, people, in uh, one of the previous episodes, we found uh, a wreck. I'm not sure if it was this one, where we found the uh, fragments of the um, battery charger. I'm pretty sure 
We should have found all of it. Let's try to get in here, because I, I think that uh, uh, the battery charger fragments, from what I can remember, were all in the, or could, we could find them all in the same wreckage, so not having it, not having it at this point means I probably missed it, somehow. Okay, we have another data box here, lightweight high capacity tank. Okay, let's go out. Otherwise, I might run out of oxygen again. And we will come back here. sure if there's anything else in here but I want to make sure I don't miss anything okay so this data box we already have fine that door is actually closed this would be for the uh, cutter passing 100 meters oxygen efficiency decreased do I need to be down here So, let's try to get out of here. Shit. Oh, crap. This is where we find those pots that were, that was uh, just another entry. So, this is metal salvage, let's take it, there's another box here, anything else to scan? 30 seconds. Yep, up we go. Okay, yeah, well let's head back to uh, to our um, pod. Okay, so we have another radio message. Let's uh, uh, listen to uh, to that message. See what uh, uh, what other information we got. What's this? I think this is for the scanner room. Yeah. Go away. And I'm going to take one of these so I can make a couple more uh, water bottles. And I think it's night time again. Or almost. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to come over here now. Where's the base? I need to get a beacon. I can never find it. Where is it? Hello? There it is. Thank you. So, first of all, let's cook this peeper. This peeper. It's not a peeper, it's a boomerang. And let's eat it. 
before we start starving to death. That's it. And I need some of these. Let's use that salt and this uh, uh, giant curl cube to make a couple of water bottles. Let's turn this metal salvage into titanium. Okay. We have any space left here? Yes, we do. Great. So, let's uh, do the same for this metal salvage. Titanium can never be too much in this game, so... And let's listen to that uh, radio message. This is Life Pod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us. I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Okay. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Okay, so this is uh, another live pod we got the information for, but we don't have the location for it. Apparently it's on uh, on the same side of the Aurora that we are. We should be able to, uh, to find it anyway. So we actually found, uh, we have already scanned this in the last episode, the three mushrooms there in that uh, area. So analysis of this large organic structure reveals a microcosm of cooperating, cohabiting and competing life forms. The main trunk is a species of coral, some colonies up to 50,000 years old. The caps which line it, uh, it share, the caps which line it share more in common with the uh, uh, earth fungi. Other organisms grow on the structure wherever there is space and light. Surrounding waters are dense with their beaverous life forms in the 1 mm to 10 mm range to the extent that larger herbivores appear to have mostly abandoned the area. Assessment exploitable. Okay. We found also the information for the uh, reef bags. Okay, a lot of information here for them. Okay, so this is the um, the um, the PDA we found on the uh, on that life pod. I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I'm actually going to die down here. Yes, you will. You have, actually. Okay, so we found here this alien vent. These vents uh, connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depth. The pumping system is still functional. The inflow vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it to an unknown location below the surface. Warm, the, oxygen the oxygenated water is being expelled into the atmosphere. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress. Assessment for the research required. We will get to it. So we've got the light stick, we got the repulsion cannon. We got the pots we have found in the last episode, and we have here the information for the sky the cyclops. Cyclops is the most popular and reliable deep sea submersible in the galaxy. By comparison to the competition, it can be crewed by just one pilot, hence the name. 
It features three speed manual piloting controls and forward observation deck for precision maneuvering, dry dock for transportation maintenance and recharging of scouting vehicles, extensive storage solutions in the keel hold section, internal and external video feeds, onboard AI for threat detection, extensive customization options. Advice for captains, higher speeds generate additional noise, which may attract undesired attention, party consumption, silent running mode may be activated in conjunction with any speed setting to reduce noise close to zero, at a substantial additional power cost, cyclops upgrades, blah 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 blah. So this is the information for the uh, bigger submarine we will be able to, um, uh, to build later on. Okay, so... Lightweight, high capacity tank. I need a plus steel lingot. By the way, what do I need for a plus steel lingot? Lithium. I don't have any lithium yet. So, we won't be doing that for the moment. Okay, people, uh, let me just... Uh, um Let me just get my normal uh, vital signs full. Okay. Let me see. Uh, what do I need to build uh, to build a life stick? A light stick, because the the light stick would allow me to place it somewhere here to know where my base is. Where is that? We have the floodlight. Hmm. So what do I need? Oh, a light stick, but I still need another... Um, I still need another... Um, part, another fragment. Or, I can place a beacon there. Copper ore and titanium. So I have one titanium. Do I have any copper in here? I don't think I do. And it's pitch black again. Does anyone know... Does any, anyone think... The... Uh, night time lasts so long here? No copper, no copper, for there. Any copper? Copper? Just need one copper. Do I have any in here? Nope. No copper. Okay, well, let's, uh, um, let's, uh, um, leave this uh, episode here, okay, uh, kind of a shorter episode, however, uh, today I might have some other video uh, coming out, so, um, you will be probably still hearing from me today. Uh, nonetheless, let's leave this uh, episode here. Uh, we have found another uh, life pod, which we will be able to, um, which where we were able to uh, get another um, PDA with information for uh, for these people. Okay, so the yeah, depends to what I need. Two glass, four titanium, and one silver. Yeah, I don't have any of this. Okay, uh, so. And in the next episode, we have also found uh, or received the information from Sunbeam that they should be trying to uh, uh, coming up to rescue us. And we also found the location uh, or the clue, to the clue to a location for another uh, life pod, which we will be getting to in the next uh, uh, episode. Okay, well, for today, this will be it. Thank you so much for uh, for watching. Please leave uh, leave your like. Uh, leave all your comments and suggestions down below if you have any and subscribe to the uh, to the channel have a look at the content there already and I'll see you soon in the next episode